All right, Protoss, Fighting Spirit. Okay, so it's Protoss, Fighting Spirit. I'll be going for a one factor expand, very safe build. Uh, obviously, if I scout uh, some weird stuff going on, that can change. So let's talk about the barracks timing, right? <clears throat> now, it's always 11 barracks that you're going to be making unless you're doing a very specific build. Um, there are 12 barracks builds for two factory. Uh, there are 10 barracks builds for Russian kind of Russian builds. Uh, but generally, what you want to do is wait till you have about 200 minerals to make it. So you notice I just queued up another SE, and then as soon as I hit the 150, then I made it. And so the reason behind that is, if a probe scouts you first, and you start your factory as soon as you have 150 minerals, you have no options to save your gas. You cannot cancel your, your barracks. That is a that is a piss poor move. So, yeah, that's... Uh, if you if you wait for that, though, you can cancel the SCB and make it. And having it that much later, 50 minerals later, you're not ever going to lose the game because of that. It's not going to happen. Like, they're not going to have zealots in your base, and you needed, you know, that... 50 minerals worth of time quicker marine. It's just, that's not a thing. Especially not on a map like Fighting Spirit or a fire map. So good to make it just a, you know, a little bit later than right when you can afford it. Depo. 88, take your guys off gas. Build the, barrack, or the factory close enough to the barracks. To your little walls so that if uh, Rush comes, you can hold it. Obviously, this placement here is because Marines can go through here, but probes and zealots cannot, so I can just stand one right in the middle there and pretty easily defend. Now, if you're going for as a one factory expand and getting your command center as quickly as you can, you only want to make two Marines. Uh, this is how the supply kind of works out and minerals kind of work out, because you're going to be going like. 22, 22 for that, or uh, 22 command center. So the two marines will block scouting probes if they're not there yet on the ramp. You generally can kill them. And as this guy finishes, he'll be going down. I make the machine shot. Oh, okay. So we are gonna switch the build now. Watch this. See that? Okay, there we go. Micro there. But he is not going to be able to do anything from here. So it should be a Dragoon on the way I would imagine. Okay, so let's gather up these marines, bring an SCV down. I've already killed the Zelloth, so he can't really uh, bust this ramp too easily. Also, by the way, when I saw the Zelloth that early, I added the Singa Depot. Uh, he's putting on some aggression, he's putting a lot of money into it, so I have to show some respect to that by not making my chance in price quickly. Okay, that's a, that was a clever move to leave that in there. I was wondering where the fuck that went. Okay. Three dragoons, he's just expanding. 
nothing too crazy going on. We get a little bit late on this one depot. So I was kind of micro around with that vulture. So, I mean, his build was pretty good. I, I like that build that he did, right? He had two dragoons, suddenly he made it look like a rush. Caught my vulture, he was expanding, he realized that I was going to hold everything, so he just expanded. I don't know if he had other plans there, but it was good play. Go ahead into an academy. I want to be able to figure out what's going on ASAP. Quickly here, I'll get my factory first and send it back. some kind of like anti-reaver. That's the only thing I'm really afraid of right now. I'm not afraid of DTs at all. The reaver could do some damage though. Oh, is that it? Let's go ahead and scan. Okay, he is going reaver. Catch more shuttles with that turret than any other turret. Not enough mass. So now I have to decide do I want to attack him early? Or do I want to expand? Is that enough? It might be. I think I misplaced my cursor slightly. This one should be about here, this one should be about here, and this one could have been here. And now I have to buy one more turret. So that's kind of annoying. Been a little bit indecisive about making that third command. I'm gonna have to make it now. For duty. I need to start my upgrades because yes, I'm going macro. Right away, Here comes. Check around, see if we can get done. Check the lab. Back. Okay, so, want to wall this in? Yes, sir! Destination! 
So this was like really predictable that he was going to do this. That's why I'm taking it. I mentioned I had to take it very carefully. This is like a very common tactic for Red Osses. So I've taken no damage so far, so that's pretty good. Ooh, I want to get that kill if I possibly can. Scans what's going on. Okay, he's going into Arbiter. I blocked this area the whole time, it looks like, so it's really good. Speed upgrade. Yeah, I should do it. Here we're out of position, but I had the wall, so I did not think he would attack me. Obviously, this proves not be the case. I lose a lot of SUVs here, but I do kill a lot of them. We won't get away with anything. Oh shit! Wow, I missed this game up pretty bad. Definitely should not die to this. That was some mistakes we made here. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and 
this way natural.
base is under Okay, so let's look at that replay. That that should not have really gone like that. Okay, so his opening build here, I like this build. This is this is pretty good, right? Like he opens with a Zella. It makes me make a depot, right? And then you look at this. Started about the same time. So that's actually pretty good, because normally Terran can start their first expansion a little bit earlier than Protoss, unless they go for a like gateway without gas Nexus, which can be a little bit risky, or Nexus first, which can be a little bit risky. So I like his opening overall. It was pretty good. I sent a whole truck to try to figure out what was going on. Uh, I saw that he did have a Nexus on the way, so good stuff. He was pretty sloppy here, lost a few Dragoons, getting a bit over-aggressive. Um, <clears throat> looks like all my buildings are pretty much on time. The place where he won the game was the bust. It was, uh, so he takes his third here. Let's actually jump back a little, little bit. Okay, so he actually took his third off of uh, one gateway. My comp sets were a little bit late here. Uh, I guess I did get a bit behind. Normally I'll have them uh, up by now, or building at least by now, right? So if I had added the two more packs, because I was kind of hemming and hawing whether I should go two more packs and attack him or not. Uh, but when he does something, when Protoss does something like this quick of an expansion, you can definitely just kind of make some units and go. Part of the reason why I didn't do it is I lost my early marines. Yeah, it helped me to kill some dragoons, but I like to have those early marines for the push. So I think that was a kind of mental mistake by me. Because I killed the dragoons, I didn't really need the marines to buffer as much anymore, right? So this was, this was really, truly greedy. And then he's just adding gates here, so... He, he got an advantage through these early builds overall. He definitely outdid me in early builds. My stuff wasn't bad. It still should not have ended as it ended. Again, as I said, the turrets are a bit off. You want the turrets uh, against a reaver. You want a turret ring that covers. So this turret should have been about there, because then it will still hit the top. And then this one can be about that much further south. And then this one could have been about that much further south, right? And then I then I wouldn't have had to make that one. So, I mean, it's only 75 minerals difference plus the uh, CB building time of it. Uh, but, you know, just a small small thing you really want to try to put, place this correctly. Okay, so this is something that I didn't uh, scout well enough. Because, see, I have this vulture here, right? This is the next place Protoss is supposed to scout to, or uh, expand to. Um, and I have this vulture kind of in place um, to, to check on that, right? So if he's sitting only on three base for a very long time, there's only a few things that can be happening, right? He can be like rushing up to Arbiter or something like that. Uh, he can be going mass gates and trying to do some sort of silly bust, which is actually what he ended up doing. And I didn't really stay on top of that. So that's, that's like a very important part of this game. So I actually think I have something pretty deep to say about how this game went in a moment here. 
I do want to get to the point where he comes in and breaks me. So this part, I, I'm happy with how I did this. I did this nice and slowly. I didn't screw around. <coughs> Excuse me. Force my way in. Okay, so he's about to do the bust. And I have all my units way out of position here. So this is definitely a mistake. He has 151, I have the 115. 115 with this wall. I should be able to hold this if all my units are in position. But he actually gets his zealots in really quick. I thought I told Depot to build there, so that's kind of weird. So I guess my Depot didn't build. That would have been another hole that he couldn't get through so easily with the zealots, so that would have helped a lot. But yes, you should have a full wall here. It doesn't have to be 100% tight. Just making the zealots go through single file like this buys you a ton of time. Also, let's see, five tanks here. I only needed one tank or two tanks up here. So this is fine. Let's just not even count those two. But here's five, and here's four that aren't attacking. So this is nine siege tanks I don't have in the battle when he comes to bust me. Yes, he has a significant amount more supply, but this army should not be able to kill me. And he basically killed me with this attack. He got insanely far ahead here. So this was this was kind of like a frustrating way to lose this game. But anyways, okay, so this is this is kind of one of the important parts. This is where I actually died, right? Like the, I still played on because uh, you know, I StarCraft One. There's a lot of ways to come back. Yeah, I mean, while I was playing on, I killed a lot of probes and stuff. Uh, you know. Maybe if he, he messes up a few times or doesn't do those recalls, maybe I can make this a really long game and have a chance to win. So I don't like to leave StarCraft long games uh, too early. Unless it feels a trillion percent hopeless. I mean, this felt pretty hopeless after this, and this was technically where he won, but I want to jump back uh, and show the true first mistake. And that's right around here. Wow, I actually hit that pretty, pretty well. Okay, so I've got my academy. Let's see exactly when the academy is going up a little bit further back. Okay, so I have my one factory. Uh, with the early zealot that he made, I was playing a little bit safe. Um, you know, I made the vulture. I made the extra depot. Uh, I made my third depot before my command center. I think that these are okay moves. Uh, and I think he countered it really well. So that's like in... He kind of outmaneuvered me there, but I felt like I needed to play safe. And if you feel like you need to play safe, I think that's fine. There's plenty of ways for you. You don't always have to take shortcuts and, and shape shit off, right? Like, you don't always have to try to be maximum greed. You'll lose a lot of games that way. It was kind of an aggressive opening from him. I scouted him last. Okay, he gets he gets the high end of the, the build orders here. Uh, but let me, let me show the part that I think I did mess up on, right? So there's my academy. Let's speed this up. Just making some units. My second factory gets started. Okay, I'm fine with when my second factory started. I went vultures with mines. Okay, two tanks, some marines. Yep. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Okay, so I'm damaging some goons. Get a goon kill. Okay. Lay some mines. Okay, good stuff. Mine kills another dragoon. I did hear that happen. I knew that happened. Okay, so. Basically, I lost my four Marines, but I killed two Dragoons. That's a pretty good trade for me, right? Um, and let's not forget, I killed a Zealot for free early on, and I saw that he took a Nexus. So this is like a lot of information that I actually have at this point. And uh, if you recall, when I was playing in the game, I was kind of, I, again, I was hemming and hawing. I was trying to decide, do I want to add two facts? I was a little bit confused. Okay, my Academy's done. We don't see add-ons going on yet. Let's see when they go on. Okay, there it goes. It's not too late. Not too late how quickly I made those. I start up my eBay, that's fine as well. <clears throat> now, I think what I should have done here is when I, I killed the two Dragoons, I saw that he took a very quick Nexus. I killed the Zealot. So that's like, for four Marines, that's extremely good value for me so far. Now, what is he going to do to come back? It could be DTs. It could be... Uh, like uh, a reaver, right? But I'm, I'm countering all that. This build order in general that I have is safe against everything in the early game. I get my comm stats at a very early time just in case of quick DT rushes. I get the mine upgrade 
first if I'm not really sure what's going on, and that slows down the DTs as well. And I get the engineering bay at such a time that this will help against DTs or reavers before they really get to my base. The quickest one base reaver will get here before this, but I scouted the nexus, so I'm fine, right? So anyways, I'm playing safe. I, I've killed some units off, and this is where I really feel like the mess up is, because like the strategy he chose is fine, uh, he chose to take a super duper fast uh, third nexus. Now, my intel for this is a little bit slow, which I think is okay worse. Uh, right, because I had a vulture that was over here. It died seeing the nexus. I didn't see this one too quickly. I did a scan. Right, I scanned and saw the reaver. So this set me on the defensive. But the other part of this is that he only has one gateway. So, like, Reavers are good, but you can micro against Reavers. If you pull back while the Scarab's coming, the Scarab doesn't do full damage, right? So, unseaged Siege Tanks, if you have a bunch of them, they beat Reaver. Uh, it's not that big of an issue. So, what I should have done here is gotten a little bit aggressive. I should have tested him and poked him. I had enough information. I had the one gateway information. I have enough tanks right now. Let's take a look, right? I have three tanks there, a Vulture. I have two more tanks building, another Vulture. And... I've already killed two goons in his ally. I know I keep repeating that, but this is like an important thing to remember. He has only four dragoons. My army can straight up win here. Obviously, I don't need to attack right now. I can do something like build a couple marines, add two factories, and put pressure on. If I add two factories here, and he has taken this, which I do not know about yet, then I can kill this base or hit his natural. You know, I can do something. I can get some damage done. I can get some pressure done. Uh, instead, I was I saw the the reaver tech, and I got a little bit scared. Uh, you know, I don't I don't like Reavers personally. I find Reavers uh, to be a little bit hard to play against. I really want my turret ring and stuff like that. But if I make the turret ring, right, I'm adding some factories. I'm kind of, I don't need the turret ring right away. I can just build a couple turrets, get my factories going, build a couple more turrets as I can afford them. But I should have put pressure on. Because either he's taken the Nexus and I can do damage, or he has not taken the Nexus, which means he's building a hell of a lot of units, which I already know he's not doing because he has one gateway. And then I'm safe. So this is really, I think, where my big mistake was in this game. And this definitely could have... I mean, the game would have looked 100% different. So there you go. That's the analysis of that game.